It's time again to meet this week's amazing Suncoast woman. ABC 7's Linda Carson joins us with her story. Linda. I was at the school board meeting when Lori White was named superintendent. She took a job many before her had failed at, and she has come through like the champion she is. She is an amazing Suncoast woman. Lori White has been superintendent of Sarasota County Schools since 2008. I have thoroughly enjoyed it, even though it was very intimidating to take the role. It wasn't something that I had aspired to be, um, but I loved the school district. I am so much a part of this community, so it felt right. She was superintendent of instruction at the time, but when the school board unanimously offered her the job, she felt compelled to take it. I so love this community and this school district that it was just, it felt like this is something I needed to do and I could do to help the district. He moved to Sarasota when she was six years old. My dad had been in the Air Force and retired early to join his father and brother. Um, to start a business here. She started school at Alta Vista Elementary School and graduated from Pine View. She always wanted to be a teacher. After graduating from Florida State, she married the boy down the street. We weren't dating until I went to college, of course. And um, so then we started writing letters and fell in love. And I came back to here to marry him and have been married to my husband for 39 years. They have two children and three grandchildren. She taught at Ashton Elementary School. Oh, it was wonderful. Um, I worked with students that had challenges, um, and I always felt like there was a key for every student. She led the district through some very tough financial years by getting the community to help. Where we're working together, collaborating, whether it's to feed children in the summer, or if it was to get more children on grade level, or if it's with some of our foundations to help us fund um, things that we couldn't afford otherwise. She's excited about her approaching retirement. I hope to be able to do some volunteering in the classrooms. I, I miss teaching. And her life lesson? The greatest accomplishments are not done alone. That what we need in this society is to listen respectfully, learn from each other, and find ways that we can use that energy to do great things. Lori is retiring in February because it'll benefit her family through the state of Florida's retirement plan. But she doesn't plan to stop working with students because that's what brings her so much joy. And she really does love every minute of it. That's yeah. fantastic. We know she'll be around, help, like you said, helping oh, yes. students for many years She'll be years in the classrooms.